For indigenous people around the world, the rights of nature and culture are intertwined. They fight for both on sacred ground. These places are where the real nature of the world glows and emanates, yeah? We believe that this spring is so sacred. We only go up there once a year to sing at the doorway of our creation story. The native culture and the ecology of the planet are disappearing hand in hand. And so those communities that are impacted by mega pipelines that are spreading out all across this continent, like the tentacles of some kind of monster hydra beast, we've got to unite those communities. We end up with a belief that it doesn't matter what we do here because salvation is someplace else. And so let them mine, let them dam. Can we have one place in the island where you don't have to use it to make money and we can just honor it as a sacred place? I think the, the West hasn't quite understood the need to have a spirituality that links to the land upon which they live. The Earth is alive. No doubt about it. It's alive. The teachers who know that the best are indigenous people. We have a different perspective. Life comes from the land. We are only guardians. If we can fight the U.S. Navy and win, the possibilities are endless for other indigenous peoples throughout the world.